Hello friends, my viewers at home. My name is Andra Nalini, the Bazooka Prophet. And without wasting time, I will be talking about a very silly topic in the body of calculations in chemistry that poses a huge threat to a lot of students. And that is limiting an excess for reagents. Now, what is a limiting reagent and what also is an excess reagent? Simple. A limiting reagent, they are reactants that are first used up in a reaction. While the excess reagents are also reactants that are in greater amount that are necessary in a given what reaction. And take note, in the calculation of any of the products of a given chemical reaction, it is the limiting reagents that are used in getting the product so that point should be in your head now we continue and the question says urea is prepared by reacting ammonia with carbon dioxide and take note unlike other aspects of the calculation chemistry whereby you are given one known and asked to calculate for the unknown this one will be given two known and you'll be asked to calculate the unknown mass of the product from the reaction they said in one process c 37.2 gram ammonia are treated with 1142 gram of co2 two question here because i said which of the two reactants is the limiting reagent and also calculate the mass of urea formed i'll be giving you a short course which i've used to teach students all over the world countless times and this is how it goes Follow my procedure, and with this procedure, you can use it to solve all the subsequent questions that are involved. Okay, let's go. Now, this is what we do. We relate it together. Simple solution. I will relate the mass of ammonia to that of urea in one process. And in another process, I also relate the mass of CO2 with that of urea. Now, between these two reactants, any of which that will give me a, a like give me a small amount of the product, which is the urea here, will be the limiting reagent. I will also give me the mass of urea formed. Now, look at let's go together. There will be two meaning in one process now for ammonia here to be two multiplied by the molar mass of ammonia is seventeen. How do I know? Nitrogen is 14, hydrogen is 1 times 3, so altogether it's 1 times 17. It's equivalent. The molar mass of urea is 60 gram. And they said for ammonia here, the mass here is 637.2 gram. Ammonia, what gram urea? I will go to alpha. That will be S gram is equal to 637.2. Multiplied by 60 over 2 times 17. When you multiply and you divide, the answer should give me 1124 gram urea. That is for, for ammonia. Then we then move straight away to that of the CO2. CO2, the molar mass of CO2 here is 44. Multiplied, okay, 44 gram co2 equivalent again to that of urea because you are relating each with urea so urea here is 60 gram urea and the mass of co2 here is what now 1142 gram co2 which is equivalent to what gram urea so here become s gram is not equal to 1142 multiplied by 60 over the mass of CO2 here is 44. When we when we calculate for it, the answer is 1557.27 gram urea. Now look at this class from this now, between the mass of urea obtained from ammonia, 
and the mass of urea obtained from CO2, which do you think should be the limiting and which do you think should be the essence? I've told you earlier, that of the limiting here is the one that will give me the smaller mass of urea here, which is that of the word ammonia here, because I'm here, I'm having 1124, here is 1157. So that of the ammonia here is 1124 gram of urea. So ammonia here is the limiting, while CO2 here is not the excess. And the question, the question next says, calculate the mass of urea formed. Since I've gotten from, since I've gotten for the limiting, I now know that indirectly, this will be the mass of urea form. And that automatically gives me the answer to of urea, which is 1124 gram of urea. That ends that of this topic. Thank you and God bless you.